How's it going guys, this is Etzer and welcome back to another episode of GD Weekly covering the happenings between February 19th and February 26th. Jumping right into some community developments, a preview for a future Geometry Dash song, Theory of Everything 3, was uploaded to DJ Nate's YouTube. DJ Nate is known for making past songs such as Theory of Everything 1 and 2 as well as Electrodynamics and a few others. TOE 3 is planned to be an official song in Update 2.3 while the songs for 2.2 are coming from an unknown artist. Who this artist is is a mystery, however RobTop said on stream that the musician is currently not on Newgrounds. If you guys have any predictions or guesses as to who this musician might be, feel free to leave those down in the comments below, because I really do not know. Then there's just another quick update on the icon contest that me and Viper have been hosting. We have now reached over 7,000 submissions, with still over a month left in the contest. Some of these entries even have 10 or 20 icons attached. So I'd estimate we probably have at least 15,000 unique icons to look through at this point. Still, thank you guys and continue to send these in. This is an astonishing amount of support that we've been receiving for this contest. Thankfully, I have great news. Because of the massive amount of entries we've been receiving, a few things have changed. One, the amount of nominees and winners has increased. Previously, only 10 icons would be put into the final Geometry Dash update, but as entries continue to flow in, that number will only increase to higher and higher values. Additionally, winning the contest will now give you a credits role inside of the actual game. There will be a page similar to the Shards of Power page you see in Geometry Dash that credits each icon to its appropriate creator. Make sure to continue submitting your icons to submitgdicons at gmail.com. That's submitgdicons at gmail.com. Of course, we've gotten so many great icons already, so these icons must be your best work. There's so many entries that only the greatest of the greatest will succeed. Still, good luck to all of you and continue to send these in. I really appreciate the support. Then moving on to the best unfeatured levels of the week, and I have to say guys, you continue to step up your game every week. Each time there are more and more great levels to sift through, we got about 90 responses this time and all of them were very, very good. Continue to send me them through the Google form below in the description, and I will of course look at all of them. So taking a look at the levels, first off we have Digital Lights level Timed. It's another black and white level which does some really cool things with Rotation Trigger. Although I'm never a big fan of levels that remain the same color all the way through, the effects at work are still really nice here. Then, KJ Beast made an Undertale boss fight in his level Death by Glamour. Animations on all the little robots are really nice and everything in the level is very similar to the actual game they're in. Then there's the level Woosh by Thytrophy and Bob Ratchet. It has a really strange style, but some of the effects in it are actually really kind of cool. I especially like the final effect that rotates in two directions. Directions, it looks really cool. Drift by Cancel is a neon style level with some really really cool block design and one of my favorite custom backgrounds of any level. But of course finally, my favorite level of the week has to go to Thought Process by Wolfen. The style is similar to a laser brisk level and he does a good job of creating a hybrid between effects and design. Additionally, he also made a thinking emoji inside of the Geometry Dash which really helps out his case for winning this week. And then from there moving on to my favorite content creators of the week. The first creator is Amor Ultra, a Geometry Dash slash art YouTuber who's been creating icons and drawings on his channel recently. In the past couple of days, he's made a lot of really nice looking icons for the icon contest. He's also done some really, really good looking drawings of some famous Geometry Dash players, myself included. He's themed them very well with the appropriate colors and particular traits. He's now working on a 14 paneled altar series art themed design, with each panel representing the style of every altar level that Serpunch has created. As always, go check out the description to see all of his links, and subscribe to see the future drawings he creates. Then a great musician on Newgrounds right now was Ember. He makes a lot of melodic EDM varying in speed and genre. All his stuff is great, and he varies his song's genres constantly, so there's got to be at least one song of his that you will like. He also hosts a podcast with a few other music creators, including Caraplex, one of my previous features on this channel, and it's definitely worth at least a bit of a listen. There's a link in the description to Ember's stuff as well as the podcast he's on. Then moving on to some demon news, Hypersonic was released to a fair amount of outrage with various complaints ranging from a slow song to the wrong uploader. I personally think that the level received exaggerated outrage, but people do have some logical reasoning. Crazyman50 was gifted a 144Hz monitor by Riot. He's been testing out this week and practicing with it, and we can maybe expect him to beat Bloodbath or other very extreme demons in the future. He also hit 50,000 subs, congratulations, and he uploaded a video of Low Death onto his channel. I highly suggest you go check out Low Death on his channel. Um, the reviews for the final level have been amazing. If you want to see the verified Low Death, just click the link in the description and you can go to Crazy Man's channel and see it. In other demon news, I challenged myself to beat Yadagarasu in one attempt, which I almost succeeded at. You can check it out here, um, but otherwise that's about it. There's no guest for this week, however, I do have guests booked for the next few weeks, so that will be very soon. Anyways, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will definitely see you here next week.